So if you're new to Colorado, just visiting Colorado, or maybe you've been in Colorado for a bit, in this video, I'm gonna give you a few of my favorite hikes that are close to the front range. And so within like 35, 45 minute drive. So quick, hit the trail, get back down if you want by the afternoon, sometimes even by work if you go early enough. At the end, I'm gonna tell you some trails that I like to stay away from in the summer. The first trail I'm gonna take you to is up 285. We are going to Meyer Ranch. And from this big, nice, big parking lot, there are several different adventures you can take. I like, if you're downloading the All Trails app, I like the Sunny Aspen Old Ski Run and Lodge Pull Loop. It is about 4.3 miles. And what I like about this trail, especially in the summer, is you're gonna be on the north side of the hill. And so you're cutting through a lot of trees as you're zigzagging, getting further and further up. You're getting great views. First, you're going through Aspens and then you're going into more evergreen trees. This also is a great trail to be hitting in the fall as the leaves are changing, but it's not too far into the mountains. It's easy in, easy out. And the views at the top, if you hike to the very top, you can get awesome views of Morrison, the front range, and absolutely beautiful if you can get there as the sun is coming up. It's a pretty easy trail, several spots to take pictures, see the view. The last part is a little bit steep, and as you break off to go to the summit of the peak, it's a less traveled trail and so it's not as walked through but if you keep an eye out for it you'll see it awesome views I like this trail lots of shade and when you get done you can hit conifer cafe or dutch brothers or something like that have breakfast have a coffee the next trail to hit is just a little bit north of this this is the mount falcon castle ruins trail i like the upper loop if you start at the bottom you're gonna have some steep incline right out the gate and so if you want to like get after it start down below and then you can climb up. If you're just looking for an easy stroll, this is a great trail because the elevation change is only about like 550 feet. Fairly open, fairly exposed, and so if you're going during the, the middle of the day, you're going to get some direct sunlight on you, and also it can get kind of muddy if it has just rained, so just check the All Trails app, check out the weather conditions. It's a cool trail because this whole property used to be owned by one family that had this like homestead, this property property at the back of it. But if you go a little bit further, there's this like spot that they were trying to politic and try to lobby to get this like second White House built. The design looks like something that was from the Wizard of Oz and beautiful views. I like some good history. I like some good plaques to read. In total, it's only about 3.9 miles. And like I said, easy going. Next trail is going to be at the Lair O'Bear parking lot. So from the Lair O'Bear, you have several different distances and hikes that you can go on. At the base of the parking lot there, there's going to be Upper Bear Creek running through there. So the access to water and then there's beautiful aspens right along there. And I like to go up to Panorama Point. If you want to take that hike, it's going to be about 6.7 miles, some shade, mostly a little bit more exposure to that. So one of those trails, if if you're gonna go to the top, get there a little bit earlier in the day so you're not hitting that like midday Colorado sun. But that's a really good trail. It's a really good, just even the drive into that canyon is beautiful. Now going into Evergreen, Colorado, I have two trails that I wanna call out here and they're right kind of like next to each other. The more commonly known area is gonna be the Three Sisters Trailhead. It is a beautiful hike. It's a fun hike. It's a very popular area because the hike is nice. It's not too hard. You get up there you get some altitude you get some beautiful views and it's also really popular with like mountain biking again because it's not too crazy not too hard there's not water on this trail but you have plenty of opportunities to catch some shade so it's a good one to take the kiddos take the doggos and have a good time catch some sights distance i mean you can really make this trail as long as you want it to be because there are so many trails breaking off of this one two and a half miles on the the short end and then right next to this trail I think one of the best views that you're gonna find in Evergreen of Evergreen is Elephant Butte and so Elephant Butte is that further parking lot I was just talking about you could start there you go down a little bit and then you start climbing up it's one of my favorites as far as panoramic views continental divide views Mwah. 
The Elephant Butte Trail is about five miles of good times, so check that one out. And before I tell you like the easiest trail that if, if you like have family visiting or if you're a little wheezy and you just want to take a nice easy flat stroll not too far and then catch some food after that, I got a great one for you in just a second. Next, let me tell you about Maxwell Falls. Now we're still in Evergreen. This is the back end of Evergreen. So this is up South Brook Forest Road and there are two parking lots for this, similar to the last one, a three sisters the bottom lot though you're gonna climb a more up a hill and this is great because it's shaded there's you know the falls and so it's not a giant fall but it's, it's a little waterfall but that means there's gonna be water there so for the doggos because of the shade and because of the water I really like this trail so you could start off hiking up and at the top there's these really nice like buttes great views there's just big rocks that are just kind of hanging out great place to chill at the top have some lunch a cheat code for this one because if you start at the bottom and go up and back it's about 4.1 miles but if you just want to catch the cliffs at the top there is an upper parking lot about a mile further down the road wind you up put you towards the top so it's a little bit more flat you roll through some aspens again you got great shade in this area and then you can catch those views and head back to the whip if you like shade dogs hikes this video give me a thumbs up it helps more people see the channel see the video i appreciate you appreciating me let's talk about that easy peasy hike or like maybe you have relatives visiting you want to take them to a mountain town but maybe they're not sure footed or used to the altitude take them to the evergreen lake there's a giant parking lot on the west side by the golf course just east of the golf course there a big parking lot for you but you can rent paddle boards you could rent boats there right there there's a trail that goes around evergreen lake and it's super flat and then when you get done you can just stroll right over to like Cactus Jack's or Bait Shack or Revival or you know one of the many restaurants to go grab a glass of wine or a beer or something like that and enjoy that Colorado summer. Total elevation gain is only 45 feet and it's only 1.4 miles around the trail so it's a good one. Now I'll give you two trails I don't love in the summer. Well one I don't love all the time but one especially in the summer because in the summer the sun it can really beat you up and so the trail that that I usually stay off of is gonna be the Red Rocks Trail. Now, Red Rocks, Matthew Winters Park, kind of they wrap into each other. And uh, this is a, a beautiful, amazing hike. I like it, especially in the morning when the sun is just coming up over the horizon and it's hitting all the Red Rocks. It's absolutely beautiful, gorgeous. But if you can't get up early and you're gonna start like heading out at like nine o'clock, get to the trail like 9, 30, 10, I don't like this one because you don't really have much shade at all, especially for the doggos it's just ton of exposure getting blasted by the heat and you're on the rocks and so just that sun and that heat just permeating off of everything i would stay off of that one in the summer again unless you're going early or late in the evening and this is another one where you can kind of choose your own adventure you can make the loop very small there's several different small loops small trails you can go higher in the elevation lower and so play around on the all trails app and find the distance that works best for you again great for the morning great for the winter Not not so much for the summer. And the last trail that I don't like, and you'll see it on the maps, and you're like, hey, this looks fun. Looks like I'm gonna get a cool peak view. It's gonna be the Conifer Mountain Trail. It's right across the street from the Three Sisters Trail and the Elephant Butte Trail. The reason I don't like it, pretty much the whole time, you're just zigzagging, switchbacking through evergreen trees, not really getting a great view of anything as you hike. And it's more of like a, a mountain biker trail in my mind. You do have have good shade but in the winter it's super cold and I just think the views are compared to all these other hikes and trails that you have access to around you it's just like why would you so this is just a fun video for me to do we do a lot of other things on like neighborhood tours vlogs cost of living so if you haven't yet subscribed to the channel check it out those other ones somewhere in Colorado whoop de whoop we are a real estate team I'm a real estate agent team leader of the moxie team and so if you're looking to not only take a hike but find a spot up here in the mountains give us a call shoot us a text send us an email we are by our phones all the time and we absolutely love helping you guys out so that is it for this one love you guys see ya peace